What's up guys and welcome to another episode of El Jardín Perito. Today I'm going to show you some perennials that you can grow not only through the fall, but also the winter. Alright guys, so this may vary zone to zone. I'm in zone 9A slash 9B, Houston, Texas. So our winters are a little more mild. So this doesn't necessarily pertain to some of the northern climates, but as long as you don't get a hard, hard frost, a lot of these plants that I'm growing will be all right for you. Right now we're at the end of November, going into December, and I planted some of these as seedlings maybe uh, less than a month ago. So they're doing good. Some of them are doing really well. And uh, for me in Houston, Texas, it's very uh, unlikely that we'll get a really, really hard freeze. So even if we do get a mild freeze, a lot of this stuff's still gonna be good. And if it does make it through the winter, I'm gonna have a nice crop uh, going into the spring. All right, so let's take a look around and I'll show you some of these perennials. All right, so one of them is gonna be peppers. Right here, I have a nice poblano with some beautiful fruit set on it. You're gonna see a lot of brassicas. Um, this one seems to be broccoli. I scattered a lot around all of my beds. Um, it's not doing amazing, but it's nice and healthy. We have some uh, dinosaur kale there. This is a type of garlic, or a relative of garlic, but uh, garlic, your onions, um, all that's gonna do really well, even through the winter. Another brassica, we have some red Russian kale, uh, tiny seedling, it's starting to come up pretty nicely. Over here, that's uh, one of the onions I was talking about. All right, in this bed we have some Swiss chard going off real nicely. Again, we have some peppers. I think those are more poblano. Katuk still hanging on pretty well. Um, this isn't as favorable of some of the other perennials, but uh, actually I, I might consider that an annual. So I'm not gonna really go into my annual greens as much, but uh, really focus on the perennials here. Back there we have another broccoli and some onions mixed up in there next to the banana. So my seminal pumpkins are still going strong. I uh, still have plenty behind my property in the back too. Although they're not as great as they were when it was warmer, they're still doing well and still fruiting and flowering. Eggplant's gonna be another one that's gonna do uh, pretty well. Some more Swiss chard about here. This is a pepper seedling. It's not poblano. Um, it's some kind of uh, Cuban pepper. I forget exactly what it is, but that's doing pretty well too. And we have a nice red cabbage doing well. Collard greens, I guess this is Georgia collard. This is, uh, this is one of my favorites because the goats really like it, but I also make wraps out of these. You have bok choy here that's actually bolting and I'm gonna let it bolt and I'm gonna let it seed and Hopefully this does well too. Uh, it seems to do well in a cooler climate, especially the fall. Uh, so my horseradish, things like indestructible anyway. Um, not really something I'm trying to highlight as one of these perennials, but it does seem to be doing pretty well. We've had uh, weather going down in the 40s lately here and there, so it's holding pretty strong. Lots of cabbages back here. They're all doing really well have some Brussels sprouts. They should also be doing well. Like I said, any brassicas should hold up pretty well in the cooler weather. Some broccoli too. All right, one of my latest beds, these these are half and half. We have seedlings and we have, uh, I literally just plopped some seeds in a few weeks ago. Um, I transplanted this basil that's kinda, it's not great, but it's all right. That's not really something I would highlight. But uh, again, the brassicas, the kales, we have uh, more dino kale. We have zucchini that should hold, it should fare pretty well. Probably won't be doing great in a freeze. As far as a fall crop, it'll be doing well. Again, we have our broccolis, radishes. They're particularly uh, a little better because they go from seed to crop so quickly that they'll be ready to harvest, you know, even if there is a threat of a frost. A little more red Russian kale, some zucchini back there. Another one I encourage you to plant would be carrots. 
These are from seed, but they're popping up all over the place. Probably could have thinned them out a little bit, but they should be all right. All right, guys, so this was meant to just be a short video, but to encourage some of you growers to keep on growing through the fall and the winter, especially if you're in these southern states, you know, like Florida, even Georgia or the Carolinas, uh, you could still probably get away with a lot of this stuff. Also, guys, feel free to comment below if you have some stuff I uh, may have missed that may not be too late to plant. I'm pretty satisfied with what I have going on right now, but I'm always open to suggestions. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for today's episode. As always, thanks for tuning in. Until next time.